Hey everybody, Jason from Joyful Noise. Thanks for watching. So we're on part three of our dry practice routine, uh, a series of what we're doing. So we're gonna talk about basically the do's and don'ts of when you're dry practicing. What, what things you should be doing, what things you shouldn't be doing. So the, the big thing on the do's, we'll go over the do's, have a plan. When you get ready to do dry practice, it's just like having a plan, doing anything else, uh, tackling a project, working on something, going to the range, have a plan. Don't just go and show up and just start doing it because you're just going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you're not going to be working anything. Have a specific reason, have a plan of what you're going to be working on. Uh, so if it's just going to be a maintenance routine, we'll go over maintenance routines and, and specific plans on the next video probably. Um, but have a plan. So if it's just going to be a maintenance routine, you just go through that maintenance, that, that regimen that you have. If you have a specific skill you're going to work on, work on that specific skill um, and how you're going to do that. So, so have a plan for that. Deliberate practice. Do it deliberately. De deliberately. Don't be just all willy-nilly, just kind of uh, grabbing your gun, throwing it around, you know, tick, click, 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 whatever you're doing. Um, have something, have it deliberate what you're actually doing. So, so when you're doing it, be deliberate with it. Okay, I'm going to do a draw stroke. I'm going to remove my garment, have a good master grip, gun comes out, get into meet both hands up on target, and prep the trigger, okay? Be deliberate on what you're doing. Don't just, you know, just all willy-nilly, just grab your gun, oh, okay, throw it out there, all right? Be deliberate on what you're doing. Every draw stroke that you do, be deliberate of what you're doing. Pay attention to what you're doing. So that kind of leads into the, the self-evaluation and the, the being mindful. So be mindful and self-evaluate everything that you're doing. Every time you're doing something with the gun, make sure you, you're mindful of what you're doing. You're paying attention. You know, when I'm re removing my garment, did I grab it how I'm supposed to? Did I get a proper grip when I pulled it out? Did I meet my hands properly? Did I get up on target properly? Did the sights arrive on target? Did I prep the trigger right? Okay, or whatever you're doing. If you're doing a malfunction drill, did I do the malfunction drill properly? You know, did I get back up on target? Did I meet my hands? Be deliberate in what you're doing. Don't be just running through it as fast as you can to try and get done with your dry practice. So remember, remember come with kind of some of the do's. Leads us into some of the don'ts. So some of the don'ts, um, a lot of people like to just, you know, get on dry practice and just start just start pulling the trigger bunch. That's not what dry practice is about. There's many trigger pulls you can, that doesn't mean I'm, I'm getting I'm getting dry practice in. No, you're not, okay? Don't just be pulling the trigger a bunch of times because it's not doing you any good. Be mindful of what you're doing, you know, why you're doing it if you're gonna be pulling the trigger. Make sure you're doing a nice smooth trigger pull, all right? Trigger pull to slide reset. So a lot of people, will have the issue of, of we're dry practicing and you have like a striker fire gun where when you pull the trigger, now I gotta reset the gun. And what ends up happening is a lot of people end up doing this. They'll be like. And, and all you're doing is, is you're just ingraining that, racking the slide every time you pull the trigger. And you don't wanna do that because I've seen it, seen it myself and I've done it myself. Do a bunch of dry practice and you get to the range, do live fire and you don't think you're gonna do it. You pull the gun out, you fire one round, boom and you automatically and you drop a live round on the ground i mean it happens so don't get into that that regimen of of click rack click rack because you're going to get into you're, you're training your mind for that muscle memory of that so that's why i don't even uh, recommend doing a lot of trigger pulls uh whenever we're doing draws and up on target i don't pull the trigger i just prep the trigger when i'm doing ready ups i just prep the trigger. I don't pull the trigger. All right. Uh, because when you're pulling the trigger, it's not going to be the same as when you're at live fire. It's going to be completely different. So you're not getting that feedback anyway. So why are you doing it? All right. Don't go fast and sloppy. Uh, take your time. Do it right. Do it proper. If you're just doing it really fast just so I can get my 10 reps in or 15 reps in, whatever it is, you're not doing any good. So take your time and do it right. Do it proper. Um, you know, you can use a shot timer to be able to get you to a certain time frame that you want to get it in, but take your time of doing it, setting up, be deliberate, be mindful of what you're doing, okay? Don't do it any longer than 15 minutes. So 15 minutes is about, do it at least for five minutes, somewhere between five and 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're just kind of, you've lost it. You're not gonna concentrate anymore and you're gonna be just wasting your time doing it. So for about, do it for about 15 minutes, anywhere like I said, between five and 15 minutes. After that, just stop and be done with it because you're going to be losing your concentration on what you're doing, okay? 
Don't use a mirror, okay? A lot of people will say, well, I'll use a mirror because I'm gonna use a mirror so I can watch myself. You're not supposed to be watching yourself, you're supposed to be watching the sights. You're supposed to be practicing on picking up the sights, bringing it out, draw stroke, or up on a ready position, or when you're doing a tap rack, getting back on the gun, you're practicing paying attention to the sights. You can't be doing that if you're watching yourself in the mirror. If you wanna watch yourself, do what I'm doing right now. Get a video camera, a recorder, phone, whatever, set it up, and then record your entire session then you can go back and watch and you can be like oh that was a bad you know draw stroke or i wasn't standing right or i didn't get a good grip on that one whatever it is them are the things that you want to be able to do okay so them are some of the do's and don'ts uh to go over uh next one we're gonna go over we'll actually go over like a maintenance routine and a specific drill routines uh on on dry practice and how i do them so if you thought this video was helpful uh hit the like button down below subscribe to us so you can see more of our videos and if you need more training, come on out to Joyful Noise and we'll get you some of that training. You can check us out on our website. So this is Jason from Joyful Noise reminding you, you need to train to live, live to train. See you guys at the range.